Good morning, children. Today we are uh, moving to new chapter: conservation of plants and animals. Okay, so it is very important uh, to conserve uh, the plants and animal which is surviving in the world. Okay, so there is a great variety of plants and animals exist on earth. They are essential for the well-being and survival of mankind. Yes, so we are all depending plants and animals for our food and for uh, for different purposes. So it's very essential um, the survival of plants and animals um, which exist on earth. Okay, so certain uh, factors. will affect the survival of these plants and animals uh, which will cause a major threat for the survival of these organisms okay so in this class we are going to study about uh, the deforestation which is the major threat uh, to survival of plants and animals okay so first we can see uh, the definition of extinction what is mean by extinction extinction is when a species is completely wiped out from earth okay so some organism we will say extinct organism because the particular species is by uh, completely it is uh, removed from the earth so uh, wha- uh how we can say that species is said to be extinct means um once the last living uh, individual of the particular species dies the species is said to be extinct okay so now we are going to see briefly uh, what are the causes of deforestation and what are the harmful effect led by the deforestation for the survival of living organism okay so deforestation means you know uh, it is the clearing of forest and using that land for other purposes okay so what is meant by deforestation children it means clearing of forest and using that land for other purposes so humans they are uh, clearing uh, they are cutting the trees in the forest and using the forest land for um, other purposes such as for construct constructing uh, dams or for constructing road or any other purposes several other purposes okay so uh, deforestation is also defined as destruction of forest by cutting down trees so uh, what is the cause of the deforest deforestation leads to habitat loss for many animals okay so habitat means dwelling place of an animals okay so uh, we know that uh, many wild animals and uh, different variety of uh, plants and uh, many species are surviving in the forest so uh, when we are destructing the forest by cutting uh, trees it leads to uh, habitat loss or the dwelling uh, there uh, there will be a loss for the dwelling place of uh, many animals so causes of deforestation so deforestation can occur due to some of the following reasons first one is procuring land for cultivation so they will cut the trees uh, for cultivating the crops or any uh, for uh, cultivation they are cutting the trees that is called procuring land for cultivation and another thing is uh, building houses and factories so uh, we are using uh, the trees from the forest to construct furnitures to make furnitures and to build houses okay and factories and one more reason is we are making furniture or using wood as fuel and uh, natural causes such as forest fire and severe drought can also cause deforestation okay so these are some of the reasons for deforestation okay so what are the reasons uh, first thing is uh, procuring land for cultivation then building houses and factories making furniture or using wood as fuel then uh, some natural disasters such as forest fire 
and severe drought can also cause deforestation. So now we can see what are the consequences of deforestation. So once the deforestation occurs, there is a lot of consequences, there is a lot of problems faced in the environment. So uh, deforestation will increase the temperature and pollution level on the earth. When we are cutting the trees in the forest, it leads to the increase in temperature of the environment and not only that, it will increase the pollution level on the earth. It also increases the level of carbon dioxide uh, in the atmosphere. It also reduces the level of uh, uh, groundwater. Okay, so we can say we can conclude that there will be an ecological imbalance due to the deforestation. Okay, so deforestation result in increase in temperature of earth, uh, increase in pollution level, increase in the level of carbon dioxide. It also reduces the level of groundwater. Okay, by uh, disturbing the water cycle. So, totally deforestation leads to what? Ecological imbalance. Now, uh, deforestation leads to drought. Yes, so drought means what? It is the lack of water in an area. Uh, so, this is uh, due to increase in temperature which will disturb the water cycle and reduce the rainfall which causes a drought. So, drought means you know lack of water in an area. Now, deforestation uh, change uh, the soil natural property. Uh, you know, uh, you uh, studied in 7th standard itself physical property, chemical properties of the soil. Okay. So, due to deforestation, physical property of the soil get affected uh, by plantation and uh, vegetation. Uh, so that uh, there will be a removal of top layer of soil. We know what is mean by removal of top layer of soil. This is called soil erosion, isn't it? So once the top layer of the soil removed, there will be an exposition of uh, the lower hard and rocking layers. So the top layer of the soil is removed means um, which will expose the lower and hard uh, rocky layer. Uh, so this uh, lower hard rocky layer has less humus and they are less fertile. Gradually uh, the fertile lands get converted into uh, desert that is called desertification. Okay. So uh, desertification means some. Uh, Fertile lands uh, will get converted into what uh, useless uh, land. That means unfertile uh, land, barren and useless land. Okay, so because of the reduction in the uh, reduction in the humus content and fertility of the um, soil uh, leads to desertification. Okay. So, uh, the main cause of this is deforestation. Okay. So, deforestation is changing the physical property of the soil. Uh, so, removal of top layer of the soil um, result uh, in the exposition of the lower and hot rocky layers which has less humus content and less fertile and so that fertile lands get converted into desert. Such a process is called desertification. Not only the deforestation leads to decrease in the water holding capacity of the uh, soil. Okay, so you know that soil has uh, the water holding capacity so that it increase uh, it will help for the plant growth. Yes, so if uh, we are cutting the forest, sorry, cutting trees in the forest, it leads to decrease in the water holding capacity of the soil and uh, it also reduce the infiltration process. So, what is mean by infiltration process? Movement of water from the soil surface into the ground. Okay. 
so that is called infiltration so in seventh standard itself you have learned that what is meant by infiltration yes so what is meant by infiltration movement of water from the soil surface into the ground okay so due to deforestation uh, the movement of water from the soil surface into the ground that is infiltration process is reduced which leads to flood okay uh, so once the, there is uh, no movement of water into the ground it leads to the rise in the water level on the earth uh, which causes flood okay and uh, properties of soil like nutrient content texture etc also uh, change uh, due to deforestation now deforestation also leads to global warming so what is mean by global warming global warming is the change of climate on the global level so nowadays if you are see uh, if you are uh, noticing uh, means you can identify that there is a lot of change in the climate because due to global warming okay so what is mean by global warming the average temperature increases okay the earth average temperature increases okay which leads to the melting of ice caps in the poles and then it also causes increase in pollution okay so excessive pollution and deforestation uh, leads to global warming okay so global warming means change of climate on the global level due to the increase in average temperature of the earth which leads to melting of ice caps in the poles understood children so these are some of the causes of deforestation so i hope that you all understand about uh, deforestation and causes of deforestation uh, and consequences uh, faced by the environment due to deforestation if you have any doubt you can ask children thank you